Everyone gets started in game development for different reasons, and I actually think it's pretty cool that game development can bring together so many different disciplines. So let's take a moment to talk about how we all got our start in game development. I'll go first, and then you leave your story down in the comments below. I always love to hear people's story on how they got started. My story is a bit unique. I can tell you the exact time and place when I started game development. My game development journey started on Thursday, November 25th, 2021. It was the first Thanksgiving that my family had done in person since the COVID pandemic. Fun fact, I'm not the most mature person, and I wasn't eating at the adult table like most people would expect. I was at the kids' table with my three kids and my two nephews, who I very rarely had seen over the last two years because of the lockdown. The oldest nephew and I got to talking, and I asked him what he had been doing during the lockdown, and his answer was playing a ton of video games. I had always been a big gamer too, so we talked about what he played and what some of our favorites were. And then he asked, do you know how to make games? I had been a professional web developer for several years prior, and he knew that meant programming of some kind, but he was a kid and really didn't understand much past that. So I had to be honest with him. No, I don't know how to make games, but I'll find out. I took out my cell phone and I did a quick search on how to make video games. I didn't really spend the time researching it right then. Instead, I just pulled out my phone, did the search, put it back in my pocket, and we continued with our conversation and stuffing our face with way more food than one person really should. Fast forward to that evening. My family and I had gotten home, and we had just put our kids to bed. I pulled the phone out to do something, and I saw that the search was still up. So I finished whatever it was, and then I told my wife about the conversation that me and my nephew had had earlier that day. And then I just sat there and researched. Now, when I had played games as a kid, I never really thought that there were actually people who were getting paid to make the games that I love so much. Just some big corporation making them all. And even as an adult and a professional developer, honestly, the thought never really crossed my mind. But of course, there were. And for the first time, I was seeing this new merging of two communities that I had always loved, video games and programming. In my research, I could understand a lot of the programming, but the other stuff, like game engines, I had no clue on. And when I looked into all the options, I actually got pretty overwhelmed at first. Which one do I choose? I don't want to choose the wrong one. Eventually, I decided to start researching individual games. Maybe I could find something that might help me make a decision on which game engine to use. So, I looked up how to make such and such game, and one I looked into was Pokemon, and I found this. Harvard CS50 Intro to Game Development, lecture number seven on Pokemon. I watched like half an hour and I was able to follow the code pretty easily. But at that point, there was just a little too much of the game development terminology that I just didn't have yet. But the way the instructor taught was perfect for me. And since that was lecture seven, I decided to go back to lecture one or lecture zero since appropriately, they start the indexing for their target audience. I watched the first half hour and I was immediately hooked. The day after was Friday and I had taken that day off because of the holiday. And aside from spending time with my wife and kids, I spent a lot of that day going through that course, copying everything line by line. And I was so hooked. I spent the next two months doing the exact same thing for every other game in that series. Eventually that course helped me become the game developer that I am now. I'm incredibly thankful that something like that is out there completely for free. I probably would not have continued game development if I hadn't come across something like that. And I'm incredibly thankful to my nephew. I had no idea that that one question would lead to everything that it has. But it did. And I'm going to keep it going. One, because I absolutely love it. And two, because I want my kids and my nephews to see it. They need to see the adults in their life try new things, struggle with it, fail, learn from it, and grow. And. That's how I got my start in game development. So now it's your turn. Everyone's story is unique, and I want to hear yours. Let me know how you got your start in the comments below. Take care, and I'll see you next time.